What's going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be taking a look at developer preview 4 of android p gsi on my note 5 pro and mi1 well we will be not taking a look at on the mi1 too much cause yeah it just has a smaller screen and no nav bar so it would be a bit more relevant to just review it on the note 5 pro but these are extremely beautiful phones and yeah the MI1 is a bit weird cause it's a AB partition phone which means seamless updates. I still don't know the whole potential of it but yeah we will just keep it aside for a second and let's just take a look at the Redmi Note 5 Pro and something specific to the P semi GSI the Redmi Note 5 Pro becomes the first phone to support complete Volti and complete like almost bugless feature list for P semi GSI. Yes, the camera, Bluetooth, everything is just working fine. Even the Volti. Yes, this is a HD call supported phone now. And in order to do that, you no longer need to use the Moki vendor. You can now use a patched vendor. Links in the description. You have to use that. And then again, the procedure is same from ahead. Now, there are not a lot of changes in compared to the previous version. So we will just quickly compare it with the Redmi Note 4 running developer preview 3. So starting with the quick settings toggles, if you just uh, drag it down, as you can see, they now have like an outline theme over here. Well, previously I thought OnePlus is just doing something with Oxygen OS, but no, it's just Android P. But as you can see, settings and icon, everything has been now updated. Looks much more cleaner than before. Again, closing it down, the animations are pretty much the same. But if you want to now go to the apps menu, if you swipe up, yeah, the full swipe up actually access the apps menu on both of them. But if you have seen closely over there, the animation is much more better. There is no this Pixel 3 like dock over here. When compared to the Note 5 Pro, it's much more sleeker. Also, there is no hiccup. It just works smoothly, which is a very nice addition. And then again, if you pay close attention to the nav bar, let me just switch the phones. I don't know why, but it's just hard to hold Note 5 Pro in the left hand. The navbar has been a bit updated. The back button is now much more harder to see now in the camera, <laughs> at least. But now if you want to switch apps, in developer preview 3, it was just this small area over here. But now on the developer preview 4, it's the whole navbar. Yes, you can swipe around and it goes to the every single app that you like, as you can see. Pretty handy stuff when compared to the older one. Coming back to the launcher besides the Pixel 3 like weird dock, if you go to home settings, suggestions, now you get app actions onto the launchers. So for example, as you can see on the Note 4, there is nothing like actions. Android P has something like AI thingy for what it notes down which apps you mostly use and it will just give you an action over here on the top instead of app suggestions. Just like in the settings, as you can see, it shows some stuff on the top. Now it will just show that on the launcher. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Then if you go to the settings, again, the icons have been updated. As you can see, compared to the developer preview three, they now all have outline, yeah looks much more cleaner to be honest. If you pay close attention to the security and the accounts icon, they are the most updated ones as you can see. Pretty nice touch by Google. But then again, if you go to sound, if you just go over here too, yeah. Now we get call volume separately too. There was just only ring volume and alarm volume in before, but now you can also adjust call volume, which would be only available while you are calling, I guess. At least that's the thing with the Samsung, but now you just get it over here too. And now let's just keep it aside. And then again, if you go to display, advanced, scroll down, you will now find another option called device theme. Yes, if you are wondering where you saw this before, it's Lineage OS 15.1. And this will allow you to just automatic based on wallpaper, which is just Android 8.1 or light or dark. For example, if I just set it to dark, the whole Android UI won't change, such as the Lineage OS 15.1, but the recent touch panel and the launcher will change. So for example, if I even go to the launcher, it's now dark. So yeah, more customization available when compared to the previous version, but still it must allow just in app customizations like the settings app must turn dark too. But yeah, pretty handy feature added by Google. And then there is nothing much when compared to the developer preview 4. They are just small little UI changes like even into the nav bar if you just switch it around. As you can see, it gives you a small little icon over there. If you want to switch it around, you can just tap it. If I want to switch it around again, but if my auto rotate sensor is off, as you can see right now, it gives me a button. Go into the system, advanced, about phone, as you can see Android version is still 9, I don't know why it's not 9.0 but July 5 security patch, so you are getting the latest and greatest of the security, very nice thing and that's pretty much it for the Android P GSI developer preview 4, I hope you guys enjoyed and if you want more videos on just like this P GSI, please let me know in the comment section below and see you in the next one, peace.